Military of Equatorial Guinea The Military of Equatorial Guinea in Spanish, Fuerzas Armadas de Guinea Equatorial was reorganized in 1979. It consists of approximately 2,500 service members. The army has almost 1,400 soldiers, the police 400 paramilitary men, the navy 200 service members, and the air force about 120 members. There is also a gendarmerie, but the number of members is unknown. The gendarmerie is a new branch of the service in which training and education is being supported by the French military cooperation in Equatorial Guinea. Overall the military is poorly trained and equipped. It has mostly small arms, RPGs, and mortars. Almost none of its Soviet-style light armored vehicles or trucks are operational. In 1988, the United States donated a 68-foot patrol boat to the Aquata Guinea Navy to patrol its exclusive economic zone. The U.S. patrol boat Isla de Bioco is no longer operational. U.S. military-to-military -military engagement has been dormant since 1997 the year of the last Joint Combined Exchange Training Exercise. Between 1984 and 1992, service members went regularly to the United States on the International Military Education Training Program, after which funding for this program for Equatorial Guinea ceased. The government spent 6.5 of its annual budget on defense in 2000 and 4.5 of its budget on defense in 2001. It recently acquired some Chinese artillery pieces, some Ukrainian patrol boats, and some Ukrainian helicopter gunships. The Aquataginians rely on foreigners to operate and maintain this equipment as they are not sufficiently trained to do so. Military appointments are all reviewed by President Abang, and few of the native militiamen come from outside of Abang's Mongoma-based Asangi clan. Abang was a general when he overthrew his uncle, Francisco Macias Ngma. In 2002, a report said the oil companies do not view Equatorial Guinea's military a product of decades of brutal dictatorial rule with much confidence. The army is believed to have only about 1,320 men under arms, the Navy 120, and the Air Force 100. Seven of the army's nine generals are relatives of the president. The other two are from his tribe. There is no clear command structure, the level of discipline is low, and professionalism and training are almost non-existent, according to locals and foreign oil workers. Even the Presidential Guard an indication of the lack of trust in the country's forces is composed of 350 Moroccan troops. In July of 2010, after the visit of Brazilian President, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, the sale of a Barroso-class Corvette to be constructed in Brazil was announced theft of military hardware. It has been reported that in January 2006 a St. Kitts Nevis flagged cargo ship loaded with vehicles and parts meant for the United Nations mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo was seized while in port within Equatorial Guinea. It is believed that the seized vehicles which included 15 Belgian Army Panner APCs leased to Benin's army troops and parts have been used to equip the military of Equatorial Guinea, and such seizure are considered by some as an act of piracy. Army Equipment, 3T55 100mm MBT 15 Pander 16X6 APCs 10 BTR 152 APC 6 BRDM 24X4 APC the Air Force operated, two McCoy and MiG-17 at Fresco, one Boeing 737-800, one Yak-40, three Casa C-212 Aviacar 2 SA-316B Allred-E helicopters, Navy 1 Daphne patrol boat 170 tons full load commissioned 1963, two Jig patrol boats, two Kalkan patrol craft 8.5 tons full load, 